Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today I will be talking about Season 3, Episode 32, Listen, Listen, starring Edgar Stelly as uh, a man of many names, but I'll just call him Herbert, and uh, I'll give more information on that as we go through the episode. As for this episode, Listen, Listen, it's actually a pretty solid episode. I would say it's above average overall, but it is a little bit frustrating in my opinion, only because I thought this could have been a great episode had uh, the whole episode and the ending been set up a little better. Although the ending is a pretty solid mislead, uh, I just thought getting to that point didn't work as well as it could have. But overall, this is still an entertaining episode. So we start with a man, uh, an elderly gentleman, who says his name is Jasper. He goes into a police station. And we find out there have been three girls that have been murdered. And Jasper says that he has a theory on the third murder, but the police sergeant there doesn't really seem too interested. He thinks this old man is just babbling. So he refers him to a police lieutenant in another station. And uh, this time the old man says his name is Cyrus. I did think it was amusing how this guy keeps changing his name all the time. And he once again says he has a theory about the third murder. Once again, the uh, officer in charge, the lieutenant, doesn't seem very interested. Uh, you know, even though this guy, Cyrus, is insisting that the police could be wrong, it's also notable at this point that this elderly gentleman gets dizzy, maybe leading you to believe at this point that he is the killer all along. At least that's uh, kind of what I was thinking. So at this point, uh, this man goes into a bar looking for a reporter to tell his story to. This time he says his name is Ralph. I wish this guy could just uh, make up his mind already. So he tells this reporter his theory about the case. There's also a young lady uh, sitting with the reporter, which will be important. But uh, the reporter just thinks he's some uh, elderly gentleman who was uh, interested in the case and doesn't really know what he's talking about. At this point, the uh, elderly gentleman gets dizzy again, and he seems very, very interested in the girl at the bar, making you believe even more that he is the killer of the third girl. Um, although at this point I was thinking maybe this is a little too obvious and maybe it's a mislead. But the interesting, even though a bit repetitive, is, uh, you know, very interesting at this point. So at this point the man leaves the bar, no one will believe him, so he decides he's going to go visit a priest, a father. He uses uh, what he claims is his real name this time. He says his name is Herbert, so the father will listen to him. And he tells his story again, or at least he tries to. It's a little frustrating why Herbert doesn't just uh, say what he means. He always kind of just uh, goes all around it. He tells us that he knew the family um, of the girl that was the third victim, and he's talking very strangely. He even seems to disturb the father a little bit. So the father refers uh, Herbert back to the lieutenant, means that things are going around in a circle. So as you can imagine, Herbert is very frustrated at this point. So he goes home and chats with a lady who I'm guessing is his wife, even though I don't think they ever say it. It's the only thing that makes any sense, really. And he's still rambling about the case. And this is a very creepy scene, I have to say. This woman is very disturbing. And as we get to the episode, we see some uh, evidence that Herbert's wife is probably the killer. Now, I don't mind an episode not explaining everything, but this ending kind of comes out of nowhere. I think if this woman, uh, you know, Herbert's wife was really the killer, we needed to establish her character a little earlier in the episode. Also, I'm not really sure if the third girl that was killed was their daughter or not, because she had a different last name. So I'm not sure if Herbert is another false name and he just told the father it was his real name, or if they just knew this girl, like he said. You know, and his wife killed her anyway, and she was someone else's daughter. I'm not really 100% sure. Like I said, the ending is creepy and does work, but I thought with a better setup, this could have been a great twist instead of just a pretty decent one. But despite the episode feeling a little repetitive, Listen, Listen is an entertaining episode with a pretty good mislead, and I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I do have mixed feelings about this episode, but I feel like it's an episode worth watching at least once. I think that the uh, good outweighs the bad here. It's just not perfect. So three out of five for Listen, Listen, and as always, thank you very much for watching.